Yes, sir. Uh, kay Tanyo, hingin ko lang din po yung sa recent statement ng Special Rapporteur Scala Marge. He said that COVID-19 emergency measures in a country like Philippines could lead to increased state of violence of the police, particular and the marginalized. Said verbatim, of course, in a country like the Philippines, law enforcement is already acting national law beyond stand for the use of force. So you can only imagine additional powers under a state of are. Well, my comment is, again, I've been consistent. I know uh, Professor Agnes, she's not a specialist on extra-legal killing. She's a specialist on freedom of expression. It would have been better if the UN appointed an, an actual expert on uh, extra-legal killings no? of the same caliber as uh, Philip Alston. No? Um, I wish Agnes good luck. I wish she could get um, tenure in her university so that she can actually be recognized as an expert. Now, I'd like to say, restate the rule in uh, international law. The use of force is not prohibited by state by the state, provided it is necessary and it is proportional. And I think the kind of um, responses, the use of force that we have seen, satisfy these criteria. If not, then the appropriate cases are filed, whether be it criminal or administrative, which is the duty of the state in case of an alleged violation of the right to life. Secretary Anya. Yes. Uh Uh, kung makikita natin ang sitwasyon sa Pilipinas, compare natin sa ibang bansa, lalo na sa Amerika, malayong malayo yung ating sitwasyon. Mula na nagsimula ang ating crisis, ay more or less mga 100,000 violators ang na, natala natin. At ang kinasuhan doon ay almost about 50%. Ang iba naman doon ay uh, pinagsabihan lang uh, at uh, pinauwi naman. Ano? At itong mga talagang uh, kinasuhan natin ay ranging of different cases. At ito naman ay talagang uh, na kinakailangan. At makikita natin ang uh, pagsunod ng ating mga kababayan sa batas ay maganda. No? Ikumpara natin to sa ibang bansa ay malaki ang depresya at hindi tayo magkakaroon ng sinasabing anumang looting o anumang ibang mga uh, breakdown sapagkat lubos namang masunuri ng mga Pilipino. So, yan lang naman ang ating masasabi. Uh, we are really doing good in the terms of peace and order. Kaya nga sinasabi ko, 59% drop tayo sa sa crime. Sa tingin ko, yan lang isang magandang one of the many positives that we achieve uh, during this crisis. And ang Pilipino naman ay lubang disiplinado. I mean, talaga namang by nature ay disiplinado ang mga Pilipino. Kaya ako nang babastos. You know, I am not really that kind of person. Pero because of the exasperation and the attitude ng alam mo ang human rights. Magsabi yan sila, ito yung human rights na namatay. 10,000, 15,000, 20,000, lagyan mo na 100,000. Walang ginawa kung kunin yung listahan kung sino yung namatay. Tapos yan, extrajudicial killing. Pagdating dito ng mga ugok, lalo na itong mga puti, Talagang walang silbi sa buhay yung mga yawa na yan. Sa, sabi na, you know, Duterte, it is a social problem. It is a social impact. It is a health issue. O kung social issue, health issue, titignan mo ang likod. If you are really a journalist of you, worth your... Tignan mo bakit naging social issue. How did it started? What started it? When was it taking place? Bakit nagkaganon? Di makita nila pro droga. How many people were contaminated? How many people are into it? How many people are sick? Yan ang tama. Kaya kung magpunta ka lang dito, tapos kunin mo extrajudicial figure number, hindi ko pa siguro kung tama ba yan o hindi. Kasi ngayon matagal na ako nagbitaw. I order the PDEA to operate only to the exclusion of the all law enforcers, pati NBIs. Huwag umalis kayo dyan. Matapot pa lang, sige pa rin ang patayan, sige pa rin ang... But look at the consequences. If you ask me, is it succeeding? Is PDEA... Uh, is PDEA qualified? Yes, of course. But it, it, is it ca capable of uh, enforcing the law? 
with 2,000 agents, I'll tell you, of course not. When, whether it has really improved the situation or not, we will know. I have not asked anybody. But you are, nandyan kayo, you are sure of tumaas ba yung mga rape dyan? Wala namang ibang gawin niya, hindi magnakaw. Because, uh, you know, my, to my chagrin, itong ulul na be careful about America. Not really government, state department. There are completing multiracial dyan. May mga empleyado na Latino, may empleyado na Chinese, may empleyado na mga it's a migrants uh, hellhole. Ito nga. Tapos kanya-kanya yan silang ano pa. No. To, to just, to just uh, illustrate to you. I do not think if you remember that black uh, doctor brought by Calamard and he had the goal to go in public before TV and said that no, Andruga does not harm. Uh, it is not uh, something which is permanent. Pero mo sa... Gusto kong sampalin eh. Sa totoo kong makita ko yung put... Masampal ko si Orton. Saan yung aid ko? Meron ba? They are fighting with each other and making us stupid before the... There is a release now. International Narcotics Control Board. Precursors. Look at the logo. Wood Health Organization. Ayan lahat. Cannabis. Nandat yung effect. Cannabis smoke contains 50% more tar than high tar cigarette. Which puts users at the risk of lung cancer and other respiratory ito tapos itong mga taga sila kalamad come here bringing with them a black uh, doctor supposedly supposedly from America by the way he talked putang sabi na you know shabu does not uh, I'm a little bit of stupor. Wala ang tapos yung buhok na. Gusto ko, sabi ko, putang, napaghinarap ninyo yan sa akin, sampaling ko yan. Oh, maniwala ko. Ah! Iharap mo yung gano'ng mga expert. Expert tapos yan ang sagot sa akin. With all... Ang problema nitong United Nations ito, it is quarreling by itself you have a human rights commission there protecting the human rights of people. Well and good. I agree with you. But they, they, itong namang isa dito, magsabi, oh, wala yan. And then they have this uh, National Narcotics Control Board defining the insanity of the use of this. Ang ayaw ko kung bakit ako nagbumura. Sabihin ko lang sa inyo ganito. Hindi ako ganun. I've been a congressman. You have known me. I never... Hindi ako, hindi ako na... I do not backbite people. Pero kung magpunta dito, sabihin mo lang, eh, makinig kayo human rights with all your stupidity and... Oh, these are the people that uh, were killed by... Eh, supposedly, pinatay ni Duterte. 10,000. That's it. Magyaya sila ng kalamard. Oh, ito. Pinatay ni Duterte. 10,000. Then, pati yung iyo. Iyo di puta. Inangyawa. O, oh, tapos magpunta dito. Tapos dala nilang record. They go to Europe. Say, oh, look. Uh, we do not uh, give aid to putang ina kayo. Iyo na yung aid ninyo. Sabihin, ito yung pinatay. Tapos, they begin to lecture. In, in the international. Duterte is a killer. Pagdating ng mga lectures, oh, ang, 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 ang dress kasi, 
is a social problem. It is an health issue. O so pagka ganun, when there are the figures na matay, kindly turn the page because it is a social and health issue. Tell us kung ano ang gawin namin to cure it. Bakit kayong hang yun ng 7,000 without the explanation? Mga mayors ay anak ng Barangay Captains, there are about 40% of the total Barangay 40% nandyan sa Cebu. Kaya how could in conscience suggest to Congress that we have an election? Sinabi ko sa inyo, yan ang, yan ang factual uh, situation. Bahala kayo, I suggest, we do not have the election because there will be more killings and more cheating because those who are in power, mayors and barangay captains, will use their money and naked force. Kaya niwarningan ko yung mga polis, niwarningan ko lahat yung mga mayors and governors at sinabi ko sa kanila, the foundation of my statement, I do not want to insult you. Pareho lang tayo mayor. Pareho lang rin ako maliit na tao. I am not a significant factor in this government. But please, sabi ko, do not enter into that kind of activity. Piritan ko kayo. Yan ako galit. Kaya ako napamura. Alam mo, same body, National Control Board, may logo doon na uh, United Nations. And here is the Human Rights Commission also under the United Nations. Nandito lahat, cannabis. <coughs> Excuse me. They said I have a... Ano yung mga, mga military, pati police, if you have extra copies. They are all characterized here. It's the International Narcotics Control Board, United Nations. Dito, sa lahat ng characterization, yung iba stupor, yung iba ecstasy. Ito na. Ito na. Ito na. Mesamphetamine. Use triggers aggressive, violent, and bizarre behavior among others. Nakikita mo yung bata. Saan ka nakikita dito ng one-month-old na bata rapin mo? Because you are reduced to an animal because of its toxic effect. Yan, papi, cannabis, cocaine, yan, yan, yung mga milyonaryo na may gano'n na kalalaki yung barko. They go into the open sea and o oh, eroplano mag-hit-hit sila. Wala tayong magawa. Ano, yung mga elitista na mga o oh, yung pobre, bakit? Bakit ang pobre na mamatay? Ang mayaman, hindi. Kasi ang pobre, yun ang target ng market ng Cebu. Mura eh. Ito mga cannabis, cocaine, mahal to heroin. It does not really impact so much on the brain because it comes from a natural, organic plant. Cebu is a mixture of deadly chemicals. Kaya pati polis, sinabi ko na na, ubos na yung polis ko dyan sa... Tapos basahin mo yung mga critics dyan sa ano. Ang sabihin lang nila, o oh, ito, pinatay ni Duterte, yan, 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 o. Oh. 10,000. Tapos pupunta dito, Duterte, alam mo ba, ang drug is a social problem. It is an, a health issue. And so, yun lang. Dali na doon sa Amerika, sa Europe. Ito namang ugok ng mga puti. Malibasa walang mga utak. 
if it is a social problem, if it is a health issue, take mo doon sa likod. What happened? How did it start? Where is it going? Ilan na ang adik? It's about 4 million plus 6. They are creating within the, our nation isang grupo who are already insane and addicted to a drug called Shabu. They are reduced to slavery. Kaya talaga ako ganit. And the crimes and the horrendous crimes that they commit alone. Kaya sabihin mo na, madala mo ako doon na takotin mo international court. Of, mm-hmm. Kaya sabi ko, ay, Arkalamart, come here. Iko-cross examine kita. Pero magdala dito yung black doctor na sabi na sa Amerika kasi ang 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 crisis on opioids yung prescription hindi pa sila natuto nitong si Abo pag yan ang sabi ko nga one day to your horror okay umpisa na so Trump declared an emergency tapos gusto nila sundin natin sila you know your rep Hindi nga ninyo makontrol na Amerika kayo, nandiyan na sa inyo lahat. Kami pang 